Claimed Home Warranty gives you peace of mind knowing that the major systems and appliances in your home are covered against unexpected breakage and costly repairs. So you can enjoy what you love doing because our coverage options and easy process take the hassle out of finding quality contractors. When your covered items break and you need service fast, a Claimed Home Warranty is here for you 24-7, 365 days a year. For a free, no-hassle quote, go online to acclaimedhw.com. Owning a home is the American dream. I love my job because I get to help people buy, sell, and improve that American dream. Follow me this week as we explore exciting new trends in Utah's real estate. Okay, Clay, for this one, we're gonna be heading out to Riverton, and what's better than a big garage, Clay? A bigger garage, that's the answer. A bigger garage, <laughs> A yes. bigger garage, and so this house, it has a standard two-car garage on the front, and then it has a massive three-car in the back. Oh, I love that. And so, kind of separated out there, and This yeah. is huge, because to add in that much uh, square footage in a garage, you're talking probably $50,000. Yeah. And, and a lot of people, when you're getting into new construction, you wanna have that big garage. It, I mean, you, you can't do it and hit this price point. Well, There's I love that, how they did the tall door on the side there also. You could do the RV or the boat or something in there as well. So it gives it a lot of functionality as well. Yeah, really, and they've got a they've got a huge beam in there. So if you want to support like massive things like an engine, if you want to pull an engine mm -hmm. out in there, you can do. It's got heat in there and everything. Oh yeah. Which and so nice thing about this house, you're getting a really nice neighborhood. You're right there in Riverton. Obviously the house is beautiful. You're getting that five car garage. I'm telling you, I could use a five car garage. Well, that was a big selling feature. We bought our home. You Did know, you? it was like yeah, especially for me and now my wife doing the wood shop stuff. Yeah, it's, it's great to have all that room in the garage and so many things you can do with it. And with a home this size and it's beautiful, you kind of need that, but you don't always get it. Yeah. And so to have this home and then that garage that goes with it, it's just a perfect complement. Yeah, it's got massive RV parking out the back also and still mm -hmm. got a lot of space in the backyard. Yeah. And you can see, so we're going to be looking at about 3770 square feet with four bedrooms, two full and one half baths. It's on 0.24 acres and obviously it's a classic two story. So on the main floor, you've got all your living space with your kitchen way, just the way it is. And then you go upstairs and as you can see, we'll going right into the master bedroom here. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Great, good sized master. Yeah, just the way it should yeah, be, right? Yeah. Uh, again, this is an ivory home, and ivory home is really good at doing floor plans, as you can see. A big, huge walk-in closet, and then into the master bath. Just, just the way you want it, the corner. Yeah, it flows, it's extremely functional. Yeah. Uh, and some nice touches in there, too. And I like the lighting. You have a lot of natural lighting coming into the bathroom as well. Yeah, Riverton's a, a great area, just kind of uh, one of those uh, developed areas, kind of happened a little later in the market, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit west and a little bit south in, the, in uh, Salt Lake Valley. And really nice, they've got some really nice parks and locations out there. Yeah, what they've done from a community development aspect out there is spectacular. You know, yeah. it's really developed and grown. Like you say, a lot of, a lot of nice community features, like you said, the parks and some different public areas you can go to and it just is, it makes a really nice location for, the, yeah. for this home. And they've had a lot of development out there with a new freeway that they ran out there so it's mm -hmm. real convenient to get to. It's got some really nice schools out there and, and this one has a second entrance down to the basement and she's got a salon down there. Jay, I mean this is literally the biggest feature and I, we talk about this, we see this every now and then but this is such a big deal and a uh, unique market you can do with folks with that nice salon down there. Yeah, and there's that that big huge garage on the back and that is priceless. You're really looking at about fifty thousand dollars to add that on. Absolutely. House. Yeah. And you notice they put the you know the nice brickwork on there as well. They yeah. do just you know down you know downsize or downgrade it a little bit. It just matches, it conforms with the house and just a nice quality look to it. Okay, Patina, for this one, we're gonna be going up into Sandy, up onto the, like the East Bench there, kind of by Bell Canyon, right? Exactly. Yeah, and that's a spectacular area. And take a look at this, probably, tell me a little bit about this one. Well, this house is nestled against Bell Canyon. You literally walk down the steps, 
and you are at the foot of Bell Canyon in minutes. You have beautiful hiking trails. And so it's a gated community also? It's a private gated community and the woodwork, you can you could just tell the quality of the house the moment you walk in. The ceilings are amazing. The quality craftsmanship throughout this house is seen in every single part of this home. Yeah. You can tell they really put a lot in here, a lot of nice woodwork, a lot of stone work, and the floors are just beautiful as well. The floors are gorgeous. They're tile and they're hardwood floors. I wish we can open the shutters so that you could see the view that greets you every day. The fireplace is amazing. Center to the home is this magnificent kitchen. Notice that it's plaster over the range. Uh, the granite you're now facing, you're doing all your kitchen work and you're facing this gorgeous view. There's the plaster. Yeah, you overlook the whole valley from you now up there, right? Absolutely do. Yeah, and so for shooting, we like to keep those drapes closed so we can kind of take in the kind of warmness of the house. Right. And kind of, but when you're in there, you want to open those up, right? Absolutely, absolutely. The views that greet you in every part of this house is amazing. Again, the quality, the craftsmanship, the style. This is this house was designed by an award-winning decorator. This granite is called Spartacus. It's a very rare granite and it is gorgeous. Yeah. Notice how thick the granite is. Here's your dining room again with another magnificent view. The whole house is open, it's warm, but it's so elegant at the same time. Balcony, you have a beautiful view off of your balcony. This is the view that you see off of your home, dining room, kitchen. It's just absolutely amazing. Yeah. So this really would fit for somebody that's looking to maybe downsize some from some massive property, but still wants to all those qualities in a house, right? Absolutely. Or it could get a lot of different directions or somebody that's on their way up too. Huh? Absolutely. This is the master suite. And I just need to try to come up with another name than master suite because it's beautiful, supremely. Um, it's just really laid out really well. One of the things I like is you can walk right out onto your deck right outside there, right? Right out the deck and you have that beautiful waterfall. You can listen to that. Take a look at the master suite bathroom that leads into this ginormous closet. And don't no, don't forget to look to your right. That is a double-sided fireplace. Yeah, so you just look right through, which is just beautiful. Yes, from your master suite to your master bathroom. It's just super incredibly elegant. And it's massive too, that tub is huge. But wait until you go into that closet. Oh man, yeah. that's a massive closet. That's a massive closet. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Everything is just so well appointed in this house. And the way that these original owners have maintained this home is really unbelievable. And there's your backyard oasis, your private, Chase lounges, your views are unbelievable. It's all secluded too, which is so nice. You got all those mature trees just kind of tucking it in there. Just absolutely beautiful. I absolutely. love it. Absolutely. And in the lower level, you find your second bedroom and the family room down there. And then you walk into your garage. But look at the way this bathroom is appointed. Yeah. This is now upstairs. This is an amazing laundry room area. Great work room. These are your all your bathrooms are full. This is your two car garage, your two car tandem. The, yeah, so a tandem garage then is a two car wide but two car deep, so you can theoretically fit four cars in there, right? Absolutely, yeah. and you can real. There's a lot of room for toys. Zippy Shell of Utah has a new and innovative solution for your storage needs. We offer convenient, secure storage that is less work for you. We bring a storage container to your house for you to load. Once it's loaded, we'll pick it up and store it at our climate-controlled warehouse. When you're ready, we return the container to your house to unload. Right now, we are offering a storage special for only $99 a month. Please call us with any of your storage needs. Jay Deere here with Real Estate Essentials. Have you ever been driving through a neighborhood and just died to know how much those houses cost? Well, just download Real Estate Essentials' new free app. It uses your phone's GPS to track your location, and then it uses a multiple listing service to give you all the details. All you need to do is text REUTAH to 32323, and be sure to tune into Real Estate Essentials every Sunday afternoon at 4.30, only on ABC4, good for Utah.
So Clay, for this one, take a look at this. We're right on the golf course and we're flying past the, the gated community. Uh -huh. And so this one's gonna be listed at $516,000, but that's only $108 a square foot. Yeah, and that's this, a great home. And look at those views, Jay, too, on that. Beautiful. You know? And so it's gonna be right on the Sleepy Hall golf course, so literally right across the street. Mm -hmm. And then and then so you're gonna be looking out. And this is a fun little golf course too. What well, is? I have a friend who lives right on that also, and he loves it. He also loves the neighborhood, just says it's a great place to live. He's been there for about eight years now. And so golf this golf course, very familiar with it. Um, this is a great little community, Jay. Yeah. It really is. Gated golf mm -hmm. course community, and they always talk about that. You always wanna, if you can, buy houses that have views that are on golf courses or water or anything like that. So, and take a look at the inside. Oh, yeah. One of the things I really like about it is it's very, it's not, you know, you get a lot of square houses where you walk in. They didn't do that here. They've got a lot of angles and very designer and the way it pushes in. Look at, I love the colors. Yeah. Right? I think it's amazing. Like you said, the way they did that architecture inside also, it really matches the, the beautiful, unique architecture on the outside as well. Yeah. yeah. And they just carried that theme right inside. Yeah. And yeah, they really put some thought into the, into the details of this. I love Kitchen that. Kitchen is just darling, right? Yeah. I just absolutely love it. Uh, this is this exact style is so popular. You just see this through all the parade homes and everything. Mm -hmm. White cabinets, solid surface countertops, you know, all the chrome. And boy, they, they did a great job. They did. And that's very, very popular. But they did this in a very unique way. I love the way they brought those colors together with the granite and with the color scheme. Yeah. Works out really well. Very nice. Now we're going into... Now we're going to go into the master bedroom here, which is right on the main floor, as you can see. And so this house, we're going to be looking at 47, 45 square feet. It's going to be six bedrooms, four full baths and one half bath. And it's on 0.18 acres. It's got a two car garage. And so it's it's considered Orem, but this is kind of a newer area that's come out recently. And they call it Vineyard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that has the biggest growth projections. That is really an up and coming area. They just put that big megaplex out there. That's right. They're putting a lot of, of development into that. And you can see why. It's a beautiful little community. They planned it out really well, and I love driving out there. We go to that Megaplex quite a lot. Yeah. So it's really nice. Yeah. That Megaplex is one of the nicest ones. It, they got yes. nice seats. And, yes. Yeah, really. And so the, this is going to be a very, and the reason why is because this is one of the last areas that they still have land they can develop mm -hmm. in all of Utah County and is North Utah County, you know, a little bit west. And so this is, look at all this house you can get. Yeah, and that is a lot, like you said, with the six bedrooms, the four baths. You have a lot of room for a nice, nice family for guests. Um, it just—it's like the it just the, the way they put this property together. Again, I'm just a big fan of how they pulled this and did the angles. And I like that. And the whole community is like this, it which is. is really nice. Yeah. And anytime you get into golf, and so I was reading a book recently, and and the guy projected that whenever you buy real estate, if you can buy something that has a view or it is on water or a national park or on a golf course, mm -hmm. these properties always appreciate really, really well. They and do. And you know, my, my, I was just talking to my buddy about it. His property is done really well. He's loved being there. His family loves it. Um, and he loves, of course, the golf course be in there as well. Yeah, so there you go. Right on Sleepy Hall Golf Course, right there at $516,000. Beautiful views. So Clay, take a look at that view. Oh man, got the snow-capped mountains in the background. That's right, and the grass is so green, right? I know. And those trees are just looking beautiful, and all the, the flowers up yeah, front. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Okay, so for this one, we're going to be heading up to Farmington, and Farmington has been one of the hottest areas lately. Yeah, it really been, has. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there have been a lot of houses selling and a lot of interest, a lot of buyers going up there because you can still get a good deal on a property and still be close to downtown Salt Lake. It's yeah. one of those, uh, and the big mall that they put in there mm -hmm. is really like uh, pulled a lot of interest for people that want to come into this area. And so now they've got amenities, they've got location, and they've got beautiful views.
And so Farmington, Farmington's a place that we're going to expect to see a lot of appreciation in the next few years. I've noticed, uh, I mean, we've seen some houses really drive up in price there because buyers get in there and get excited and just fall in love. Well, it's so close to everything, but it still has that down home feel, that really strong community there in Farmington. Yeah. And I think that attracts a lot of people because they get that sense when they go there. Yeah. They like being close to the city and everything else, but it still has that nice down home feel to it. Yeah, and their mall up there is really, really nice. They they really have affected, I mean, a lot of people don't, when they're up north, they don't come to downtown Salt Lake to go to the mall anymore. Mm -hmm. They just stop right there because that mall is just as, as nice. And it so is. they've really noticed a lot of change uh, when that mall came in. So Farmington and a lot of restaurants back that up. And so as far as the location goes, Farmington is a hustle and bustle and booming community that's really going places. And on this particular home, this is, one of those, this is perfect for the area. It's one of these massive, expansive, vaulted ceilings, master on the main floor, super desirable. You've got, you know, Ramblers never go out of style. Mm -hmm. They That's never right. do. They and, and when you get a couple bedrooms on the main floor and some views off the back, as they do on this one, boy, it's it's a hard to miss. So we're gonna be looking at about 44, 65 square feet with six bedrooms. It's got three and a half baths. Um, it's on uh, just about a quarter of an acre and the garage on it, one of the nice things I like about the garage, it's an oversized three car garage. So it's got three cars across, but it's extra deep in the back where they actually, oh, yeah. and so that it's, uh, it's almost a four car garage, yeah. but they built in like a storage area in the back. And so it's, you know, it's on a nice quiet neighborhood, you know, just near all the parks and, and very, very nice. Uh, well, it's so just a beautifully home. It's laid out really well. It's great size. There's a lot of opportunity on this home. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was built in 2009. Of course, granite countertops. Uh, very, very nice. Master on the main. So you're going to be looking at two bedrooms, excuse me, three bedrooms on the main floor and another three bedroom in the basement, which is, you know. What a great setup. Yeah. Yeah, that really is. Better than that, it's a walkout basement in the basement. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's got a nice deck off the back. Uh, it's got a walkout basement. There's the basement as we go down there. You can see nice tall ceilings, uh -huh. you know, laid out really well. You know. See those doors right there going right outside and yeah. the daylight coming in. Very, very nice, very clean. Everything is immaculate on this home. Uh, there's a hall. So as you go down the hall here, here's a, a room that they, they actually, they could have turned this room into two different rooms, mm -hmm. but they opened it up so they could have lots of room uh, for doing crafts and stuff, as you can see. Yeah. It's got a place. If you wanted to separate that room and make two rooms down there, you could do it. You, just you, could, really make, you could really make that a four bedroom in the yeah. basement, four bedrooms in the basement and then the three upstairs. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, plenty of room for whatever you want to do in this house. I mean, if so, you could really, you could easily stretch it out. If you needed seven bedrooms, you could uh -huh. do it. You'd still have plenty of room. Yeah, and they're all, as we're going through this, they're nice size bedrooms too, Jay, yeah. you know? There's that deck I was talking about in the backyard. Look at this, nice trek decks right off the side. There's your walkout basement underneath, so it creates sun in the afternoon. The way the house sits, the sun sets off in the west. This house faces south, so it's got some nice shade. Oh, yeah. And you can see that that's what you're getting in Farmington. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, beautiful property yeah. In, in a really a nice area. Okay, Clay, for this one, we're going to be going up to Hooper, Utah. Great area. Yeah, a little north, yeah. right? Yeah. This is kind of good. It's kind of, I, I love showing off a lot of different properties, a lot of different locations. Take a look at this one. Oh, so like to that. the beautifully fenced yes. yard and everything, and to the left-hand side, that's all open space right there. Mm -hmm. And they've they've got a, a little creek that kind of runs through there. And so they've got, look at all that water that's just yeah. running. Really nice. That's a great setup right there with that right to the left and right on the end there. One of the, like one of the cool things we can't see about this, it's on a double hammerhead driveway or um, cul-de-sac on both sides of that. So it's a really quiet, and they're right up at the end of one of the cul-de-sacs. Mm -hmm. And so when you have kids, and uh, apparently the whole block is really, really, they love things like um, Halloween and 
Oh, very, very great. engaged. And so they got the little water out there. They got places for their kids to, you know, run around and have a good old time and lots of open space. And so heading into this inside, take a look at this. Oh, look at the contrast, the colors they did. They just really put this together the right way. I, as soon as we saw that and it showed that view. Yeah, the kitchen's beautiful, yeah, right? Yeah, they really did a great job with that. Okay, and so the, the homeowner is uh, like a designer, uh, like uh, she loves kitchen. She's a big cook. And so she okay. designed the house around the kitchen. Yeah. And so when I met with them, they said, well, what we did when we sat down, we said we want a kitchen and we want to build the house around that. Yeah. And so, and they did a great job. Kitchen sell houses, right? You know, and it, it, it's exactly right. As soon, like I said, as soon as you showed that, you can tell that was the mindset that they had. It's kind of the gathering place. It's where most of the conversations happen in the eating and kitchen area. Yeah. So what a great job. So that's that a designer together. kitchen you get at this price because we're we're on $412,000 and that's going to be at $104 a square foot. Oh, it's super affordable. It really is. For a single family yeah. residence and a cul-de-sac mm -hmm. with some open space and a stream running through the back, fenced yard. Yeah. And, and man, you talk about this is this is quite a value. And so they're on 0.36 acres. So it's not like they're living on a little. Yeah, I mean, great this, acreage right there. Look at and headed in the master bath area again. Granite countertops, nice tub. They got a beautiful uh, second shower or shower right there. Really nicely laid out. They did. And they put the like I said, they like the kitchen. Mm -hmm. They really put their color contrast and complements together really well to make this pop. Yeah, and so one of the other things I, I really like about it, and so it's it's 3950 square feet with four bedrooms, two full baths. It's still got room in the basement that you can finish some stuff out, but it's got a three car garage on the front of it, but it's got a, a larger third car garage on the side so it'll fit a boat. Oh, I love that. And it's double deep over there. Oh. And so theoretically, this is really, a, this is a four, uh, four car garage house, and it's got an entry out of the basement into the garage. And so these are, this is a cool features. Great property, I love it. Yeah, beautiful. I mean, look at that, I mean, yes. single family residence, just the way you want to have it, right? Yeah, nice big backyard, you know, that huge bonus room. It's Great all neighborhood. fenced in. Look at that. Oh, spectacular. You got the mountains in the background too, and that, I love the features of this home. We were looking for a new home. Some are too big, some are too small, some are just wrong. Then, wow, we were in our dream home. Then the hard part started, all this paperwork. Luckily, we had Steve, a loan officer from Castle & Cook Mortgage on our side. Even though he's done this a thousand times, he knew we hadn't. He took care of everything, and fast, so we could focus on the things that really matter, like enjoying our new home. Castle & Cook Mortgage, the key to your castle. Well, we've been thinking about it, and we're just not sure. I understand. We've never sold a house before. I'll walk you guys through every step. So if we sell, do you think we can swing it? Well, I have the numbers right here, and based on the comps that I found, the timing is perfect. There are a lot of buyers for a house like yours. It's good to know. I'm so excited. <laughs> So Clay, we're headed out to Syracuse, and of course you know, kind of know Syracuse. Yeah, Syracuse. I yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, real popular is the west of uh, uh, Hill Air Force Base, and this is a former parade homes in the early '90s. And what's unique about this one, you're looking at a, a big home with a uh, four car garage with horse pasture uh, at almost an acre of land and you're only $86 a square foot. Wow. That's unheard of. That is. And you know my love for horse property too, Jay. Yeah. I mean, growing up with that, but this is, yeah, that's a fantastic price per square foot. You could almost pay this much money for the land alone. Mm -hmm. At $89 a square foot, um, it's unheard of right. to be able to get almost an acre of land and a huge massive house and uh, as you can see outside the windows we're gonna go look at the backyard in just a minute but you can see oh here's looking at their little deck on the backyard and this is perfect you got your covered deck that looks over oh, your land. Oh I love look that, at that shot. Yes. And there's your pasture now that side of that pasture you're actually looking at about half of it because it shares with the house next to it uh -huh. but if you wanted to do a fence down the middle to separate your Could. pasture yeah. on the right hand side would be yours but this is what you're looking at you got a huge look at your RV pad on the side, <laughs> they made it so they could do another garage off the back. And so if you look at the back of the house there to the right, they were going to do it uh, another garage off the back so you could drive right up and then you have a place for your horses and... Yeah, you have so many possibilities with all the space that you have there. Yeah. 
And, yeah. it, it, and so going into the inside, we're gonna be looking at 5,800 square feet with five bedrooms, three full, one half baths. Like I said, a four car garage, it's at 0.89 acres. That's that's almost an acre. Yeah. It's plenty enough for mm -hmm. horses. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it was a parade of homes. And so this, when this was built out, this was the best of the best. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing too, when they build those, you know, the thing you have to look at that too is the, the strength of the structure that's in these homes yeah. and all they go into, into it because they don't spare any costs when they do these parade of homes homes. Yeah. You know? And so this, I mean, so a couple of years later, now you can get a tremendous value. Yes. You know, and you, I mean, heck for, horse property alone is worth this. It, it's, it's one of those things you can't replace because horse property is, is so unique. And you always talk about land and location and, you know, features. You're always looking for something that's on a golf course or something that sets it apart. Yeah. Something that makes it exclusive and horse property that's one of them. And, it's, and the people that love the horses love that. Oh, wow, that huge room. Sorry, that was... Yeah, yeah. no, it's yeah. almost shocking, right? It is. The size and the... And, and when, it's actually there. bigger. It's actually bigger in person when you're there. I mean, the... And so this is down in the basement. It's an unfinished. They've got one bedroom finished in the basement, but right now they've got it kind of open so you can have a bowling alley. Tons of, yeah, tons of per, op, opportunities and possibilities right yeah. there. Yeah. And I can't stress to you what a good deal this is uh, at, at 80... I just can't even believe it. I'll be honest. Well, and that, I mean, it is. It's a, it's a great, like I said, growing up with that and then to see this type of a home on that type of a property, you don't have to have horses. I mean, it's a great lot, yeah. but for that person who wants to, this is this is ideal. Yeah, I mean, you could just own it just even for the land. Mm -hmm. You could just hold on to it because they're not making a lot more of this property because as we compress, they, they just don't have the ability to make massive lots anymore. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely my style of property, Jay. Yeah, very, very nice. And there's a parting shot. You can see all that brick and all the nice landscaping they put in. It's just an absolutely beautiful property.